So Nick, I'm going to ask you this and tell you, your coach says it's someone else, but are you the fastest jet? Yeah. Because Paul Maurice yeah. says, it's, says it's Mark Shifley. You can tell Paul to put uh, Shifley in the lineup next year on the skills comp. We'll see what happens. Nick, I appreciate you joining me. You're in Oldborg, back in Denmark. It's your hometown. Uh, what's it like being back there, and what is the biggest challenge of staying in shape in this COVID-19 world? Um, it's nice being back here, um, you know, to see family and to see friends, see as much family as, as is possible. But, um, you know, we're all taking uh, precaution and uh, – Working out was uh, was tough in the beginning, but um, the guy I work out with here in Denmark, um, he went to the police and kind of asked if it was possible to to start opening up a little. Um, and last week we started working out, but uh, it has to be outside. So um, last week the weather was pretty pretty bad, so we were working out in rain. And, it wasn't too warm either. So um, I started last week, uh, you know, working out again, and uh, it feels good. So I want to get to hockey, but first I wanted to talk uh, a little bit about uh, your growing reputation as a hockey enforcer. You've got four NHL fights under your belt now. You had two this year. You went after Jamie Benneville, people, which is just crazy. You check this out. Nikolai Ehlers had a smack from Jamie Benn. He absolutely gave it back to him fearlessly. Ehlers' feathers ruffled as Jamie Benn gave him a whack. And how about that? You don't mess from guys with Denmark, from Denmark. He is crazy. Why does Nick Ehlers keep finding himself in fights? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know, my, my first year... Uh, me and Wheels have joked about it a lot. I was kind of jumping in to pr protect Wheels. Um, and, uh, you know, ever since then, it was kind of just, you know, situations where you're maybe not playing exactly the way you want to um, and kind of just letting that frustration out a little, even though it's uh, it's a big, against bigger guys. Um, but, you know, I, I try to protect myself as well. Um, you know, I, I think the the Jamie Benn situation there was kind of just a slash in the back, and I turned around and slashed him, and then he kind of just, you know, turned to a little more. And, and, yeah, I mean, I try to protect myself as much as I can too, even though I know I'm not the, the biggest guy out there. When I think of you roughhousing, there's a great video. I think it's from the 2018 Western Conference Final. Um, Dustin Bufflin's coming out of the tunnel and I guess you guys had this little thing where he'd give you a push on the bench and you get up and he just fires you back down on the bench and it kind of just really you know encapsulates the 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 passion of that team at that time I know you like to have a good time you like to goof around you do it with us in the media you clearly do it with your fellow players Dustin Bufflin was a guy who loved that kind of stuff too what are you going to miss most about Dustin Bufflin? His, uh, well, obviously his, his play on the ice is, uh, there's only one guy in the league like that, and it was him. And it was him. Um, you know, he was an amazing player. He was fun to play with, and he was a big, tough guy. Um, off the ice, he was, uh, he's a great guy. You know, it was, it was always fun being in the locker room with him. He always had jokes. Um, he chirp around a lot, of course, but um, he was a great guy for for me to come in and you know as a young guy in the league, he uh, you know he talked to me a lot and 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 uh, helped me a lot too. So um, you know he's done a lot of good things for me, and and I appreciate that. And I think everyone in in the room is gonna miss him for sure. Your head coach said that you were driving play by the end there. I would entirely agree with him. Um, Paul Maurice uses that line, driver, or that, that word, driver, to describe people. It, it means a lot. He doesn't pull it out that often. He only uses it with certain players. Is being called a driver by Paul Maurice 
the greatest hockey compliment that he gives? Um, yeah. Uh, you know, you, you want to hear when you're doing well and you want to hear when you're, when you're not doing well. Um, and Paul has been great with that. You know, he's, he's come to me many times and, you know, said what I've been doing well. And, and when I've had a, a, a slump or whatever you want to call it, you know, he's been there too. So, um, you know, I, I think if you say he don't, he doesn't call a lot of, a lot of players drivers, then, uh, you know, I, I take that as a, as a big compliment. Um, and, uh, you know, I think our, like, like you said before, our whole line was, uh, you could call us drivers at the end, but, um, we, uh, we went out there and, and played the, the best we could and, and tried to do our job. Um, and we were able to do that and we wanted to continue that. L last one. I know you don't like talking about yourself. I know it makes you uncomfortable, but sometimes it's fun to make you uncomfortable. So I could ask yeah. you this question. <laughs> I could see that. I've, I've been making this, I've been thinking about this and I wonder about this case. Do you think that you are the best hockey player that the country of Denmark has ever produced? <laughs> Um, I don't know. You know, it, it, those are one of those questions. You know, I, I, like I said before, I try to be the best I can be. Um, you know, a lot of people have said that my dad was, was the best player, but those were also different times back then. Um, and, you know, I looked up to guys like Franz Nielsen, Bodker, Peter Regan, uh, who played in, in Chicago and Ottawa, um, and Yannick Hansen. So, um, you know, for me, when I made the NHL, I was like, wow. Like, you know, I, I've kind of followed their, their steps. And, um, you know, I don't care to be – you know, I want to be the best, not just in Denmark, but in the world, you know, and uh, I'm working towards that every single day. So um, we'll see what, what everyone else says, but it's not something that is in my mind the whole time that, oh, my God, I'm the best, you know. So, um, yeah. Nick, I try, I try to get out of those questions. You can see that, you know? You're, you're trying to work your way up, but I <laughs> no, like no. a good answer either way. Nick, hey, it's always, it's always a pleasure to catch up with you. I appreciate you taking the time. Manya talk. Absolutely.